Hello, my name is Ian McCall, and this is a video on circles from the Dermoscopy Made Simple website from the Australian Institute of uh, Dermatology. Let's have a little look at circles. Generally, most circles are separated like this. If the circles are joined up and together, then we tend to call that lines reticula. Now, there are various colors of circles down here. But the one that you're going to come across most often, the one that's most important uh, in getting a differential, is the grey or black circle. And you tend to see these in lichen planus like keratoses, pigmented solar keratoses, pigmented intraepidermal carcinoma, and lentigo maligna. And it's the lentigo maligna one that's the one you're really wanting to, uh, to find. But just remember those four things for grey or black circles. Lichen planus like keratosis, pigmented solar keratosis, pigmented IEC, and lentigo maligna. We'll also look at some brown circles, red circles, and white circles. But we'll come to those a little bit later. Let's first of all have a look at grey or black circles. This is the pigmented lesion on this lady's nose. Um, it's a little bit diffuse here, difficult to see, but when you put your dermatoscope on it, you see both dots and circles, and that's often the way with grey circles. They're often made up of grey dots. Um, these are the openings of hair follicles, and uh, this is melanin, uh, either in melanophages or melanocytes, around the, uh, the hair follicles. This, in fact, was a lentigo maligna. Let's look at these other variations. Look at this pigmented lesion in a man's face. Now, an ordinary solar lentigo would probably just be a uniform color like here, but when you have these variations of color within uh, a pigmented lesion on the face like this, it's unlikely to be a simple uh, solar lentigo. It's much more likely to be a lentigo maligna. When you have a look at the dermatoscope, you can see these darker gray circles here. And if we look at them a little more carefully up here, you see how, again, there's gray circles round about the openings of the, uh, the hair follicles on the face. So this lesion looks like a solar lentigo, but with two darker areas showing gray circles. And when it was, this is here and here, and when these areas were histologically examined, it was uh, a lentigo maligna, and the whole lesion needs to get excised in those circumstances. What about this one? We're still talking about uh, grey circles. Remember we said lichen planus like keratosis, pigmented solar keratosis, pigmented IEC and lentigo maligna. Ladies' cheek, diffuse sort of lesion, slightly red here, slightly pigmented here. When we look at it with the dermatoscope, um, we have an area up here corresponding to this area here. And there are some fine gray circles there. They're not as def definite as the lentigo maligna ones. And mainly, actually, gray dots that are, are making up the appearance of a circle around the opening of the hair follicle. And in this case, histology showed it was just a pigmented solar keratosis. So you can see the difficulty, um, even dermatoscopically, of um, separating out pigmented solar keratosis, pigmented IEC, lentigo maligna, and an LPLK. Let's have a look at, uh, I think the next one's an LPLK. No, it isn't. Tell a lie. This again um, was a diffuse pigmented area in the face here. I thought this one was going to be a, a, a pigmented solar keratosis, but in point of fact, when they looked at it, let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. There we go. Here, you were getting some gray circles. You might say that's a hemicircle. Uh, it's uh, only half a circle that you're, in fact, seeing. But if you look a little bit more carefully here, you'll find that there are some gray circles here as well. Now, this one uh, on histology was full thickness 
keratinocyte atypia, and it was uh, put out as a pigmented IEC, pigmented intraepidermal carcinoma. Generally, they'll have gray dots, and quite a few of them as well, and sometimes dots as lines, but we'll see that when we come to look at uh, pigmented IEC later. So let's just flick down to this one. Difficult to see this. This is the gray lesion here on the cheek. And when you look at it with the dermatoscope, then these are very definite gray circles. But there's a lot of gray dots here as well. They seem to be distributed, though, again, around the openings of uh, hair follicles on the face. And when you have coarser dots like this, it's much more likely to in fact be a lichen planus like keratosis, a lichenoid reaction that's causing dermal, uh, causing melanin to be in the dermal melanophages. So this is the more typical picture of a lichen planus like keratosis, as against lentigo maligna or uh, pigmented IEC. So these were the, let's go back up, these were the gray or black dots, lichen planus like keratosis, pigmented solar keratosis, pigmented IEC, and lentigo maligna. What about some of the others? Let's go to some red dots. You can get them in so uh, red circles. You can get them in solar keratosis. You can get them in some SCCs uh, as well. And note white circles as well, part of solar keratosis and SCC. So let's flick down at this one. You can see here the very definite red circles in this case. Now, these lesions here are actually porokeratosis. You can almost see the coronoid lamella around the outside of this lesion. But within this, um, a patient had developed an SCC in situ. So these were red circles that was seen within a porokeratosis as part of an SCC in situ. Remember, they can also be seen in ordinary solar keratosis. And so can white circles as a manifestation of solar keratosis in SCC. And then we'll end up with some brown circles. Now, these are the brown circles here in this lesion. And here you've got an orange clod. Um, orange clods are particularly commonly seen in seborrheic keratosis, and brown circles can be part of seborrheic keratosis as well. Um, but remember, brown circles can also be seen in dermatofibromas, solar lentigos, and Clark nevus. Usually in a dermatofibroma, though, the brown circles are drawn, joined up, and it's part of uh, lines reticular that you're in fact seeing, but they sometimes can be separated. But generally, in a dermatofibroma, you're going to have the thickened part of uh, thickened white collagen in the center of the area with the brown circles around the outside. Remember, though, some Clark nevi can have brown circles as well. But here, the presence of the orange clod with the brown circles makes a seborrheic keratosis much more likely. So, this has just been a quick overview of circles. It's the gray or black circles on the face that are going to be the important ones for your differential diagnosis um, of LPLK, pigmented solar keratosis, pigmented IEC or lentigo maligna. Your brown circles can be seen in seborrheic keratosis, dermatofibroma, solar lentigo or Clark nevus. The red ones and white ones can be both solar keratosis and SEC. I should have SEC in there as well. I'll get some good ones of these to try and show you later when I show you these particular um, conditions and the features of them. So that's circles. Remember the gray or black ones. Thank you very much.